my hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. It don't move. Hello my YouTube fam, I'm Michelle, better known as Now I Am Nappy, and for this week's Tip Tuesday, we are going to talk about protein treatment. Okay y'all, yes, I'm not talking about strengthening hair masks, I'm not talking about DIY <coughs> protein treatments, I'm talking about full blown, let's get into some Afoji hair protein treatment, because y'all, protein treatments are the one thing that is not talked about too often in the natural hair community. But y'all, our hair is made of proteins and we definitely need them. Doesn't matter if you're high or low porosity. So let's jump into it and I'll tell you why. Okay, so first things first, let's change out of our cute clothes into something we don't care about getting dirty. And let's head to our restroom. And let's get into our Afoji two-step protein treatment. So let's take a look at our instructions. And even though this is for professional use, cause you know, we're all professionals here. <laughs> I'm actually going to help walk you through this process so you can feel confident in doing this on your own hair. So let's do this step by step just like the instructions say to so we can have bomb, stronger, healthier strands. All right, the first process to, is to cleanse our hair. I use my own aloe shampoo bar and I made sure my hair was nice and easily finger detangled in preparation of the treatment. So I just want to add a side note y'all, um, because Afoji is very, very liquidy. I suggest putting it into either a spray bottle or a nozzle that you can easily pour out and distribute so you don't have to worry about it pouring and dripping everywhere. Afoji is actually very, very sticky to the touch. So as you're applying it, y'all, it's gonna be stickiness running down your neck, running down your shirt, running down everywhere. So just have some paper towels nearby, have a towel on the floor. Um, just be prepared for it to be a little bit of a messy process. Now y'all, the key here is to thoroughly saturate your hair and it recommends a comb, but if y'all know me, I am not a comber. Um, I will rake this through my fingers, but you wanna take your time, section your hair off to make sure each section is thoroughly saturated and evenly distributed. Okay, so when should you be using a protein treatment? Well, if you're experiencing any breakage, weak strands, if you use heat frequently, if you or you chemically treat your hair, either dyes or your relaxers, I hope not relaxers, but even if you are, this can be very, very beneficial to you. Also, if you notice that your hair is very limp or that you have hair that stretches and stretches and stretches and you really don't have much elasticity, this is the time to do a protein treatment. All right, once you apply the Afoji to a section, the key is to leave it alone. Leave it uncovered. Don't put it under no plastic cap. Don't touch it. Don't be fooling with it. Um, leave it alone. So continue moving along with each section. Now protein treatments are formulated to help create a layer of protection around your hair strand. It actually helps to fill in the gaps in your hair cuticle, allowing your hair to retain moisture for longer and maintain strength and manageability. Okay, so make sure you are not stingy with the protein treatment. Y'all make sure you are covering the strand from root all the way to the tip. Go back in if you see you miss any sections. If you use a comb, use it. Um, make sure your hair is fully, fully saturated. That is the point of this particular protein treatment. And once that's in, again, do not touch it. We're gonna go in with our blow dryer or a hooded dryer. You're gonna do this uncovered and you're gonna let this completely dry and harden on your hair and i'm gonna tell y'all it's gonna get very very hard your hair is at an extremely fragile state so please 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 do not touch or play with or manipulate your hair at all my hair it don't move okay now that your hair is hard go immediately and rinse with warm water don't touch your hair i'm gonna put my head right under the bathtub and let the water stream loosen up the strands until the protein is rinsed away I mean, <laughs> softness, <laughs> let's get into it, baby. Thickness, and we ain't even put in the balancing moisturizer in yet. Wait on that. This little baby, this we put in afterwards. It says leave on for two minutes, but you know how we do. 
a dollop. A dime size dollop. So y'all, this is the Afro G Balancing Moisturizer. It's supposed to restore the pH of your hair after doing this protein treatment. It's chock full of moisturizing ingredients that help to soften and restore elasticity to your hair. Now y'all, I'm just gonna apply this section by section, leave it on for about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna rinse it out and go in with my deep conditioner. Cause y'all know, y'all know how I feel about my deep conditioner. It's what's gonna give me all the moisture I really need after this treatment. Y'all, I'm loving how my hair feels with this moisturizer in my hair. I'm still gonna rinse out and deep condition my hair, but it's giving my hair all the elasticity. All right, y'all, I rinsed it out after 15 minutes and these are the results. I'm still gonna go in and deep condition again, but the true test, y'all, is what my hair looks like tomorrow. Okay y'all, so this is the next day of my protein treatment and I mean, look at my hair. It is softness, it's giving movement, it's giving all the things that you want after a protein treatment. Now I highly recommend you do protein treatments according to your regimen or schedule. Maybe try one every six to eight weeks. Um, yeah, this is just giving my hair all the life it needs. There was no breakage when I was styling my hair. And yes, y'all, my hair feels soft and moisturized and absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so make sure you check out my other video, how you can make your own protein deep conditioner, y'all. Y'all get that moisture and protein, especially if you're scared to try a full Afro G treatment. And you guys, don't forget to take my poll on my community tab to figure out what will be our next hair challenge, okay? So if you guys have any other tips or suggestions, leave it in the comment section. We'll try to pick something very soon and then I'll give you enough time to get whatever you need to join the challenge. So make sure you subscribe and share with any of your friends. And that's it for this week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.